Hello, I'm Steve Everett, Applications Engineer for Tektronix at Keithley. And today, I'm going to show you how to do delta mode for low resistance measurements using a 2400 series SMU and a 2182A nanovoltmeter. We're going to measure this one milliohm shunt. So delta mode is a method of measuring very low resistances. Uh, the key to this is eliminating thermoelectric EMF. Uh, the main assumption here is that that thermoelectric EMF is sort of a constant offset. And so what we do is using the current source, we pulse a positive current and then a negative current at the same value, and then the 2182A uh, subtracts those two voltages that it reads and divides them by two to get rid of that thermoelectric EMF offset. All right, so now we're going to want to make our connections to the DUT first of all. Uh, this is a typical four-wire measurement, so you're going to want to have your source lines on the outside. In this case, these are the lines coming out from the 2400 SMU, which is going to be sourcing current, and the sense lines on the inside. In this case, this is the 2182A, which is going to be measuring voltage. Once you have that set up, make sure that you attach a trigger link cable in between the 2400 series SMU and the 2182A. From there, we can set up the measurement. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to set the 2400 SMU to bench defaults. You're going to want to go to Menu, Save Setup, Global, then over to Reset, and then Bench. From here, we're going to configure the trigger model. So we're going to start with Config, and then Trig. First, we want to configure the arm layer. We want to configure the arm in so that it is immediate. And then the arm out so that it is at line 3. And arm out events off. Now we're going to go to count and set that to infinite. Now we're going to configure the trig layer. First with the trigger in, we want the source to be trigger link, and the line to be one, and event de detect bypass, excuse me, to be never. We are going to want on, off, off here. So source on, delay off, measure off. Now we are going to uh, configure the trigger out. We want that to be on line number two. And we want events to be source on, delay off, measure off. And the delay to be zero seconds. Finally, trig count to be the number of points in the sweep, which in this case, since we're doing alternate polarity, will be two. All right, now on the source meter, you're going to want to select source I and measure V. You're going to want to select an appropriate source range. In this case, we're using one milliamp, so we're at the correct range, but if you did want to change it, you would press edit and then range. Uh, now we are going to go to speed and select fast. Uh, since the 2400 is not actually making any measurements, uh, we don't care about the accuracy. We just want it to go as fast as possible so it stays in sync with the 2182. Uh, now we are going to configure the sweep, so we'll go to Config, Sweep. Uh, we're going to go to Type and Custom. And we're going to adjust the number of points. Uh, in this case, we want two, which I already have there. And then Adjust Points. The first one will be, oops, excuse me. The first one, point zero 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 zero, will be one milliamp, and the second one will be negative one milliamp, or if you're going to use a different current, the positive and negative values of that current. Uh, and then enter and exit that. All right, now you're going to want to go back by pressing exit, and then pressing exit one more time. And you're going to want to go to sweep count and set that at infinite or finite if you wish to do finite delta measurements. And that is all the setup we need to do with the 2410 for now. We can switch over to the 2182A. 
All right, so now on the 2182A, we're going to start out by restoring it back to factory defaults. So we're going to press restore and then enter to get it back into factory. Uh, now we are going to want to change the PLC, or the speed of the measurement, uh, and we are going to press rate until we get to 1 PLC if you want to do a faster measurement, or 5 PLC if you want to do a slower measurement. Uh, and then we're going to enable delta mode by pressing shift and then VI minus V2 here. All right, so now we are in delta mode. So now we're going to press external trig so that it waits for the 2400 series. And uh, we can move back to the 2400 now, but if you did want to insert a delay to allow for settling time, then you would press shift and then delay. And you could add that in there yourself. All right, so now we're going to initiate the sweep on the 2410. First, we're going to press the Output On Off button. And then we're going to press Config, Trig, Halt. Now the sweep is waiting for us to start it. Um, so now we can press Sweep. And now you can see that it is pulsing alternate currents. And we are now getting measurements on the 2182A. So we'll show you that here. All right, now over here on the 2182A, you can see based on the millivolt reading here that we are getting the appropriate voltage for a one milliohm shunt. Uh, however, if you did want to change this so that it said ohms instead of volts, uh, you can go to shift, MX plus B, go over to the little caret in the far right so that we can change it to 1000 for the M value, zero for the B value, and then we can change our units so that they are in ohms. All right, so now we see that we're getting 1.003001 milliohms in delta mode. And that is a very good measurement. All right, well, that was delta mode, uh, which you can use to measure very low resistances. All you need is a Keithley current source and the 2182A nano voltmeter, and you're all set to measure extremely low resistances. Now, if you need any further support, feel free to contact Tektronix Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.